And good evening wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station. And we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. Here's a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. Italy braced for their anthem. Which player is best equipped for this game? Yeah, Lorenzo Insigne. One thing he excels at is cutting inside from that left wing, Peter, to take a shot with his right. He's far from a one-trick pony, though, and he's really good at varying his game depending on how the opposition are, are shaping up. Usually, he finds space and he does something very good with it. Yeah, the easiest way to make a difference is to score, so no argument there. the way Florenzi Chiesa nicely controlled Florenzi that's the ball in Dallas and the shot all the balls come loose the defence can get it clear. Could move up a gear here. And that's put paid to a promising move. And here's Immobile. Immobile hits it! Forward it goes. It's a long ball, but it's not hit its target. Bonucci. Jorginho. Lobs it in gently. Chiesa. Jorginho. Spinazzola plays it forward. Insigne with the crossfield ball. It's Florenzi. Driving on, he could shoot, has a goal! Oh! Get that clear. There's the get up to head it! Decent attempt, but not quite good enough. There's a long ball, cleared without complication. Northern Ireland have it back and they can go again. Hoists it forward. A Serbi knocks it away. Well, they are working very hard to get it wide now, Jim. Yeah, I think they've decided to concentrate on, on working the flanks to help the production line. It's, uh, it's where the room is. to get it forward quickly. That always looked inevitable. The defence dealt with that really well. Immobile spreads it towards the left. Out 
to the left it goes. And it's played forward. Tries to get it forward quickly. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Cathcart. Well, that's where he wants it. Forward it goes. No change to the score. Nil-nil it remains. Insignia looking cross-field, changing the point of attack. Whipped in. Tries a shot! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Dallas. Hoists it forward. And that's been levered clear. And it's played forward. And he just whacks it away. Chiesa goes looking. Jorginho with a delicate ball. Chiesa plays it in. Timely intervention. Bonucci plays it forward. And it's Jorginho. Fox has got rid of that. Header! Went with his head, but couldn't steer it in. All he'd be thinking is, please, ground, swallow me up. Steve Davis. Well played, he saw that coming. Spinazzola. And here's Insigne. Insigne switches it towards the other side. Peacock Farrell gets it away. And the first 45 minutes are up. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Some first-half thoughts. Italy will probably be feeling uh, a little aggrieved about not capitalising on such a bright start. Their mood at half-time should be more upbeat. The glass remains half-full and it should spur them on. An intriguing half, lacking only in goals. The score, nil-nil. And we're off again. Italy clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Looks to thread it through. He's made sure that that won't get through. Away from immediate danger. Johnny Evans. Goes direct to the front line. And they've been caught out here. Lovely bit of skill there. Over it comes. Keeper has beaten it away. Now it's Immobile. And he's surging through. Insigne. Marco Verratti. Insigne pings it out wide. Oh, that is lovely footwork. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. Forward it goes. Well, it's a safety in numbers approach to defending here. Yeah, but dropping deep can bring more trouble, yeah? Well, shots from distance and, and space in wider positions, besides the obvious issue of inviting most of your opposition high up the pitch. Mm -hmm. 
Someone looks like he's in need of protection here. Well, if there's any ball watching, Peter, this fella will run off the back of defences, so he has to be dealt with like this. Benucci drives it forward. Chiesa gets into a dangerous position. Now it's... It has a pop! Immobile really was well marshalled there because he was denied the opportunity to, to turn. Cathcart looks to bypass the midfield. Jorginho. Well into the second half, and still there's nothing between them. That's great strength on the ball. Just brushed off the ball there. And the counter is on. Benucci. Acerbi. Spinazzola. And it's Insigne. Now it's Insigne. Good clearance and very necessary. Marco Verratti. And here's Immobile. Jorginho. Real chance! It's a great exchange. Jorginho very sharply moved into position, a give-and-go without end product, unfortunately. Northern Ireland are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Yeah, it was pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Marco Verratti. Spinazzola has come steaming up from the back for this. Cross deflected behind for a corner. Is it out of harm's way? Ferretti. It's in Mobile! Come at a time like that, the crisis. Oh, to keep his nightmare, Peter, he just couldn't pick up on it until it was way too late, having so many bodies in front of him. Northern Ireland making another change here. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honor shift. Italy get themselves into the lead. He's just gone and reminded us yet again of what a threat he carries. Danucci tries to get it forward quickly. Italy leading here by this still precarious 1-0 margin. Gorgeous control there. And it's Jorginho. Lorenzo Insigne. Finds himself eased off the ball. I think it's time for them to concentrate on closing this one out. Dinks one in. Chiesa! What an adventurous run from a defender. A nice touch. Looks to drop one in. No messing about, just bludgeoned away. Really well taken goal. And surely now the results beyond doubt. A moment that needed composure.
and he had plenty of it. And that's just clever. He made the keeper think he was going one way, only to outfox him by going the other. Very nice. Northern Ireland are making a change now. <laughs> Italy... And that is it, the referee has seen enough. So they have their win, they had all the answers to whatever the opposition threw at them, and the results followed inevitably. Your final thoughts, Jim? Yeah, we knew there was a sizeable gap in the quality of both squads and, and the story was told in predictable fashion. So thank you very much, Jim, for joining me. That brings us to the end of our coverage. So from us both, a very good evening. Thank <laughs> you.